Hey guys, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to add and customize widgets on your iPhone on iOS 15. So if you don't know what widgets are, they're basically anything you add to your home screen, which aren't apps. So here, here, and here is a widget on my phone. You can use specific apps to add widgets to your phone, or you can just use the default apps as widgets that's already on your phone. Um, so I'm going to be sharing that all with you guys in this video. So here is an example of all the widgets that I have on my home screen. So you saw the ones that I have here. On this page, I have my battery widget there at the top. This page, I have a Notion widget. And this page, I have three different widgets for three different apps. So the first thing I want to share with you guys is just how to basically add a widget to your phone. So say your home screen looks something like this. You don't have any custom icons or widgets. How you add a widget is you long press anywhere on your screen until it goes into the edit mode, which looks like this. So everything jiggles and everything. Um, and then what do you do is you go to this plus button here at the top. And then you can see all the widgets that you have available to add to your home screen. So you can have widget apps, like I mentioned. So example for apps that are widget apps are like top widgets, color widgets. Um, you also get um, widget smith. There are so many widgets um, apps that you get out there. But then you just have your default Apple apps that also have widgets. So here you can see weather, clock, um, you have photos notes app store there are so many widgets out there that you can use that don't need apps you just have the apps already on your phone so how widgets usually work is you select the app that you want a widget for so say you want a weather app widget you click on it and then you have the option for three different sizes depending on the app you might have less or more so for the weather app specifically we have a small a medium and a large widget so that just depends on how much information you want on your phone and then once you've selected the size that you want you can just click on add widget and it will add it to your home screen and then you can just move it around like so um, so it's really easy to add your widgets that's the basics for adding any widget you just long press on your phone go to the plus button and then go to the app you want um, a widget for what i mean when i say some apps have more than three options so if i go to smart tasks here which is a to-do list app you go there and you see you have your small medium and large widget for your today view but then the app they have other things like progress which has a small and medium widget they also have category um, that has a medium and large widget so some apps have more varieties of size and what is shown on a widget as others another cool thing that you can do with widgets is use widget stacks so what that is is basically stacking widgets on top of each other so here you can see you have smart stack here which just adds a smart stack to your home screen so um you can just add the size that you want so say i want a small smart stack i can click on add widget so basically what a smart stack does is it detects which apps you use a lot and then just throws them into a smart stack so they just threw a bunch of apps in here for me but what you can do is you can create your own stack you don't have to use a smart stack so that it's more catered to your needs um so you can either just edit a smart stack by just removing widgets and then adding new ones or you can go ahead and um, just from the start, create your own stack. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a Notion widget, just a small Notion widget, click on that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add another small widget, but that's gonna be clock, um, add widget, but I'm gonna hover it over the Notion widget and then create it in a stack. Um, then you can add maybe like a notes widget, and then you can again hold down and drag that over and then it's added to this stack so you can see we have three things in the stack right now and then you can also edit the settings of a stack by clicking edit stack then you can see widget suggestions is something that pops up so this is something like this that says series suggestion and then gives you a suggestion of what to do um, you can turn that off so then it's not going to automatically just add random things that it's suggesting um, to your stack so you can turn that off and smart rotate you can turn off or on so that means it's going to rotate in between the different widgets and it's not going to be stuck on one widget um, so you can turn that on or off as well also for widgets you can edit them on your home screen like we've been doing the entire time or you can go all the way to this section here which has a bunch of widgets and you can add them in here as well now i want to share with you guys some of my favorite apps for widgets so the first one we have here is widgetsmith which is the one i mostly use for um, photos and time and things like that so um, if i go into widgetsmith here you can see 
all the different widgets that I have created. You get again small, medium, and large widgets that you can edit. Um, but if, as an example of like how this works, I'm gonna go to time here, and here you can see you can go ahead and edit that by going in here. Then you can choose what you want your widget to be. So is it a photo? Um, is it text? Is it blank? Um, time, sun path, hourglass, date. Um, they have some free ones here and then they also have paid versions here as well and then also step counting health and activity battery icon things like that that you can choose from moon phases um, so that is all you can choose from from the style then you can also choose the aesthetics as theme so they have some here or you can go in and customize it more to your liking so then you can adjust the font the tint color background color border color and artwork um, so you can go in there and just customize that however you want then you can set your location if you say have your time set you need to set your location and everything and then you can just go ahead and when you want to add a widget click on that search widget smith and you want your small widget and then you can just click on it and choose which widget you have want so i want the time one and then it's going to be set to that widget so that is how widget smith works i really like that app and i think it has a lot of options for you clear spaces i did a whole video on so i'm not going to go in too much depth into it you can go watch that video i'll have it linked in the eye up top if you want to check out the full tutorial but basically what clear spaces does it allows you to have clear widgets so for instance it looks like i have just a bunch of blank spaces here um but it's actually widgets here so i added them on stacks to show you guys so as you can see there's four widgets on here but with clear spaces it looks like it's clear because um it just uses your wallpaper as reference to make widgets so again i'll have a, the link to that full video in the eye top if you want to check that out but clear spaces is also a very fun widget which i really recommend you check out color widgets is also a very fun widget app so it has a lot of customization so here you can see for instance you have um, the popular more popular widgets that they have here um, so you can go and you can edit the background color if you want you can edit the theme so that's more like the color theme that you have going on here you can adjust the fonts that they have here so this is just the font for the day whatever you can go to more options um, and some of these you need the paid version for some you don't so that is just the color widgets basics um, then you have more options here that you can scroll through they have a bunch of presets that you can just easily add so you don't really have to do much of the customizing you can also use photos here so you can create a photo widget by just choosing a photo in your photo library um, so they have so many cool widgets that you can just choose from um, so you don't have to do much about it you just come get one that you like and then that's that um, you don't even have to go look up for photos for some of these um, they have then just like other types of widgets as well so here are qr links that you can create um, reminders battery widgets things like that photos here are like anime photos so this is the widget section then they also have icon section for app icons if you want to go into that more um, so that's really nice that they have that option and then they have themes here which allows you to get different themes um, for your phone if you don't want to go ahead and save and make app icons yourself you can just come and get a theme here and that's really nice as well so this is also something that you can come and do so color widgets i really recommend checking out and just trying out um, if you're interested in creating like a whole different theme for your phone top widget is also something that is really nice and has a bunch of cool unique widgets i feel like so they have like hot widgets here which just shows you all the details of your phone if you're into things like that they have today views they have um, shortcuts for apps here so you can have have a widget which just has a bunch of app shortcuts on it here you can see some more x panels things like that um, photos like the all the other apps that have a photo widget option here you can see some things to track things so here you can track your water intake your exercise they have different themes for each one um, so again top widget is also a very cool widget app that you can come and check out and see so they have their home screen then they have icons here so here you can see some of the cool app icons that you have available to download from this app or pay for depending on which one you get and then wallpaper here also 
they have some cool wallpapers that you can choose from as well to customize your phone so definitely check out all these widget apps if you're interested in really customizing your phone these have some really cool options for you to customize your phone so yeah that was my video on adding and customizing widgets on your phone on ios 15 i hope you guys did enjoy this and i found it helpful if it did help you out give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any other questions you have for me regarding this definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen click on the playlist to see all of my other customization related videos and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video i'll see you guys next time bye